top three favorite gym fragrances, guys. Venice Beach. I think I gotta do some one-handed push-ups. And this is my fragrance of the day. It's an unusual gym choice. It is Terre de Hermes. It's a very woody fragrance with a little bit of a dirty orange note. So what you get with this is a very woody, yet earthy, yet slightly fruity fragrance. I feel it's super masculine. I just asked a very attractive woman, does she like it? And she says, yeah. So it's not a panty dropper, I would say, but still you should consider it. I don't name it so often because it is not one of those Dior Sauvage, not one of those Bleu de Chanel's, but it is an interesting woody masculine fragrance. So definitely appropriate, not only for the suit and tie, but also for an original gym fragrance. So that's the woody, earthy, orangey Terre de Hermes. So guys, on the way to the, ooh, <laughs> Gold's Gym, baby. Walking to the Los Angeles Gold's Gym, meeting Arnold Schwarzenegger, having a personal trainer. Let me tell you what I think a good gym fragrance should have. It should have an unmistakable masculine character. The gym is, of course, enhancing your masculinity. It's power, it's strength. But you can break the rules once you understand them. Take it. Everything has a controversial aspect to it, but to me, a great gym fragrance should be a masculine, fresh and clean fragrance. Second fragrance, Versace Pour Homme. This is by the master perfumer Alberto Morias. And this fragrance is a fresh and clean, sexy men's fragrance. This is a fresh and clean, sexy men's fragrance. It is gorgeous. If you like Aqua Di Gio, buy this. If you like Chanel Allure Homme Sport, buy this. If you like CK1, buy this. This is like a perfect blend of all of these three. And the guy, Alberto Morias, he's the superstar. And just had this martial arts workout here. I'm sweating a little bit now. It's refreshing nicely. Arnold Schwarzenegger was just here. I spoke with him in German. I already met him two times, but the guys told me, yeah, he's here in the morning, but do a picture with him after workout. So I did my one hour thing here and then he left sadly. But excuse me, you like the fragrance? Yeah, I couldn't help. Um, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, you smell really great. Oh my god, <laughs> that's like a, like a movie. Wow, <laughs> can we meet later? <laughs> so, yeah. I have a YouTube channel, it's called Jeremy Fragrance. I talk about fragrances. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> nice one. <laughs> okay, that was good. Can I, can I come in and say that was absolutely not planned at all? Yeah. That was not. That was not planned. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Like not, there was no planning in that. I don't, what the, what? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. How did you do that? Uh, all right, guys. Third and last fragrance I suggest you is the CK1. And this is again by the king of fragrances, the Alberto Morias, and this is the most sold unisex fragrance. Now, this has one big upside. It is extremely likable. Every animal, every table, every child, every human being likes the scent of this. It's impossible to like it. So obviously it's appropriate for the gym. It's fresh and clean and likable. The downside is the performance is about one hour and 30 minutes. So approximately the time you're working out. So that's why I said, come on, let's this. This is like a all over spray. I don't care. Just, I don't care, man. This costs like $20 for 100 milliliters. You can spray it. Oh, I don't care, man. Just stay fresh. It's like a deodorant, like an expensive deodorant. So this would be my third one. And yeah, man, Los Angeles, baby. Let's finish off with some nice push ups at the end with a CK1 on the fist, man. And that was good. Also, train your weak side. So 
So that's my top three favorite gym fragrances. Thank you guys. That was me in the Gold's gym. Have a great day. Bye.